are at the beginning of stage four. It's 156 kilometre leg, takes the riders over the Lake District in Lancashire before finishing on Blackpool Promenade in the shadow of the tower. Blackpool's been a part of every route in the Tour of Britain barring 2007. The last British winner being back in 2005 when ex-British champion Roger Hammond was the first rider across the line. Last year, the organisers were forced to cancel this particular stage, with high winds making the conditions simply too dangerous. While some of the riders might have been happy for the extra recovery time, most would have done at least an hour or two, either braving it out on the road or going on the static home trainer. Of course, some riders, notably Mark Cavendish, were in full preparation mode for the World Championships. The feed opened at the 50 kilometre mark of each stage. On stage four, that also marks the start, the first climb of the day up to Shack Fell. At this point, riders are able to go back to their team cars, stock up on bottles, bars, and gels, which they put into their pockets and up their jerseys before taking them back up to the team leaders which stay in the peloton. Over the last few years, it's a big part of my role, especially at the Grand Tours like the Giro d'Italia and Tour de France. For the most part, descending is one of the few times in each stage where riders can recover from the efforts that they've already made. That is, unless, of course, they've already been dropped on the climb before, in which case the descent can be just as frantic as they try to chase back to the group they were in. Eighty kilometres into the stage now, I've just come into the feed zone. This is the zone that they have on every single stage, around about two kilometres long, where the Team Swan Newers stand on the side of the road with musette bags, filled with a couple of bottles, some energy bars, some energy gels, and maybe the occasional brioche filled with Nutella. If the rider happens to miss it, the Swan Newers will hand the remaining bags up to the direct sportifs in the car behind. That way the riders can drop back later on in the race and collect everything that they need. Just after the feed zone, be a great place for fans to collect discarded bottles, new zeps that the riders have thrown down. The feed zone itself can be quite a dangerous place. You're never exactly sure where your swan year is going to be. I'm 156 kilometres through the stage now. It's really important to fuel your body correctly over an eight-day race like this where you can be burning on average three and a half thousand calories a day. It's actually the times when the peloton's going at its fastest that can be most difficult to take that fuel on board, not least because you're concentrating so much on the race. And it's also important to think about recovery straight after the race. As soon as the riders are finished, they'll be taking a recovery drink from their team for having a small meal and then heading off to the hotel. Here we are then, underneath Blackpool Tower. It's a fantastic place for a stage finish because there's always great crowds, adding a real spectacle to the country's national race. 